Hey guys, and welcome back to Economics and Comics. We're in uh, episode three now over at the uh, Massey Collection House. They are um, top film critics. Um, you can see them at GoneWithTheTwins.com. Um, they've been kind enough to let me in to see their collection through all the gates and security and everything and yeah. guard dogs. You're, yeah, we're going to have to patch it down on the way out too to make sure you didn't their, their guard dogs is... <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this is really special. Um, this is a l full life this size, a life right? Life size, one to one yeah. scale. Alien yeah. queen face. <laughs> Ripping through the wall. Yeah. yeah. So almost like a, well, I guess it's a wall, or do you think it's more of an alien door? Whatever it is. Right? Yeah, so the, the wall is not really a part of the films or anything. It was just kind of a backdrop to kind of stick the head in there. But yeah, this was uh, taken again from a cast straight from the uh, the original screen used model. It was something like an 18-foot animatronic puppet. And uh, they took a, a mold of this so that they could make all the details uh, exactly the way they were seen on screen. And then it's hand-painted. Again, it's uh, painted with a... Uh, Kind of like this nice glossy and, and bluish color. It has a blue uh, tint, which actually is not. Yeah, it's just based it's on the lighting going. from the film. But uh, this is a kind of an unsanctioned piece. This this originally came imported from I believe it was Hong Kong, and uh, probably copyright infringement. But it's a uh, it's a beautiful piece, so we'll we'll overlook that fact. Um, it's gigantic. Yeah, and this this one was probably. Well, it's hand painted. That is there's probably very limited. less. I, I would imagine there's less than a hundred of these out there. Probably so. Yeah, it's 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 pretty obscure, and I don't think you can get them anymore. Um, but uh, what, interestingly, there's another company coming out with something very similar to this, and it and this new company I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it, they're also doing a one to one scale Alien Queen, and she's bursting through a wall. She'll have her her hands though visible, kind of peeling back the doors to the elevator. And uh, that one is licensed by 20th Century Fox. So, uh, and that one comes out probably in another year or so to be available. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on so you guys can see better. So anyway, yeah, the new one's coming out. <clears throat> yeah, so, so fans will be able to get a piece similar to this. It won't be the exact same, but it's a, it's a very elaborate, beautiful looking piece. And uh, the name of the company escapes me, but uh, you could probably find it by just searching for one-to-one -one life size scale alien queen. Well, the nice thing about this one is it can be mounted on a wall, so it kind of has more of a portrait look to it rather than one of the busts that you actually actually have to stick on top of, you know, a shelf or in a case or something. Yeah, this thing is is huge. I mean, that's just the beginning of the face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, if you have the whole crown on there, <laughs> you know, what is that like a, a seven foot long crown that they had on there? It would be, where, where would you even put it? <laughs> this works a lot nicer because it's embedded in the wall. <laughs> There's like a glitter effect on the teeth. Yeah, this one might not be polystone like a lot of sideshows busts. I'm not entirely sure which, what uh, Where did you guys used, get it from again? It came from China. Yeah, I, I want to say it was Hong Kong was, was <clears> where, <throat> where it was shipped from. But, uh, Just out of curiosity, how much does it cost to ship something like this from China? Oh, I don't know. Oh, was, probably like $400, $500. God, were you yeah, scared this... to death when you're opening it or... Well, actually, it, it arrived in an enormous box, and it was wrapped in, like, probably 50 feet of bubble wrap. It, was just, <laughs> it, it took me, like, 40 minutes to unwrap it. So, was yeah, it no, they, in they styrofoam, too, itself? Or? No, they just wrapped the entire thing in uh, bubble wrap. Yeah, just over oh and over God, and over, that over is again. And then, scary. Put it, and put it in a giant uh, cardboard box. Well, I don't see anything wrong with it. it no, no, there's no it's, broken it's, pieces. It's uh, less fragile than you think it is, too, because, is it really because of its shape. It, it is light. Yep. Oh, yeah. So on the back side, it's kind of like hollow inside that head. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, so it, it's it's light. And because of its shape, as long as the, the face is covered, you know, you, there's not really anything that can break off other than the, the teeth up front here. But it's, uh, it's a sturdy piece. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. I love it. And, yeah, you can't. Really, you can't really get these anymore, I don't think. I mean, you no, think you could no. find this? I mean, <clears throat> maybe you could find one on eBay, but... I've never seen it. Yeah, like I, it. the thing is, I don't think they make them anymore, and, you know, any diehard collectors already got a hold of them, and it'd be hard maybe to find yeah. somebody that's willing to part with one. But now that they're going to create a new one that actually has the elevator as the background, uh, it's possible you'll see these pop up more, people uh, you know, yeah, getting the new one and trading into the license version. Yeah, great piece. This is like the 
This, would you say this is the biggest piece of the collection for you guys? Or? For us it is because it's one-to-one -one scale and, and the Alien Queen itself in the film was so enormous. Uh, yeah, it is, it is our largest piece. All right, well, we'll finish on that. Um, again, check them out, comewiththetwins.com. It's fun. You can look up old movies that you want. Hey, <laughs> what do they do? They, I, I, I mean, probably I, have, there's, there's a review of Aliens on there, too. Yeah, I'm sure that's the 10 of 10. Um, or was it 5 of 5 or 10 of 10? 10, 10.2. So, yeah, did they get a 10? It did get a 10, yes. Okay, good, because that would be a big problem. <laughs> um, so, uh, we'll be bringing you more soon, and uh, look forward to maybe a couple movie reviews in the future. Uh, we'll see how this goes. But uh, thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,